This footage looks like it's from 1987, but it's actually from 2007, which is the year I graduated high school. So it's crazy that it looks so old to me. But my now co-worker and good friend, Pete Tamoylan, is going to come into this game because starting pitcher Hudson got hurt. And here he comes, 26-year-old in his second year in the big leagues. Big boy jogging in. He's going to get his first walk in this game. But first, he's going to get as many warm-ups as he wants because he didn't know he was going to come in. Looking great, Peter. Look at the facial hair, the glasses, rocking the Braves. Juni trying to bunt on you quick like a cat off a mound. Goes up and in a little bit. Gets the swing and miss. Ooh, strike three. Give it to him, Blue. Come on. Don't worry, Pete. You're going to get a lot of pitches later in this later in this uh, outing. But he gets the little fly ball out right there. They keep him at second. I just And now, ooh, this is where the fun happens. Nice, nice strike call. That one's outside. Finding the slot. Look at that arm angle. It's beautiful. Now we're going to get a weird double play. It's not a traditional double play, do you think? But the runner thought it was going to be a traditional double play, so he just rounded third base thinking, well, if they drop it, maybe they'll score. And it's like, well, no, they caught it, but he was safe, and now you're dumb, and you're out, and Peter Moylan is a hero. And Pinnell is thinking, what? the hell was that now let's get to the fun time the opposing pitcher sean gallagher he's making his mlb debut and he's got a face pita moylan who's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts at this point in his career 1-1 count and moylan's thinking okay all right something might happen here takes that one fantastic eye outside and now here's where everything changes look at that swing Scared the shit out of Gallagher's like, oh my God, I'm in my MLB debut and I got this big oaf taking these big hacks. Oh man, look at that swing from Pete. Slow-mo it real quick. Just a boom. All, I mean, look at the weight. Look at the weight that got. Imagine if you connected all of his weight right there, almost through the feet right out from under you. Now what you did here is you scared the hell out of Sean Gallagher more than this dude's mohawk and that galley jersey number 36 because he just spikes that one. He's like, I want no part of this dude. I want nothing to do with him. Goes high, bat flips the walk like a champ. Peter Moylan, the reliever. Now Pinella scratching his head in disbelief. Like, what's this? And look at this face. He's like, oh, I mean, I mean mm, mm, what are you going to do? Mm. Walk in the pitcher. Walk in the relief pitcher. Okay. All right, now Peter's back in the game. And what's he going to do here? Just throw strikes. Just pound the zone and a little bit outside because I think he realized this umpire's giving him the outside edge. Uh Uh-oh, opposing pitcher Sean Gallagher steps into the plate and Moylan drills him. He's like, oh, you're scared to pitch to me. I ain't scared of you. Wow, there was already warnings in this game too. I think that was completely accidental. I don't know, Moylan, was it? Pinella's like, well, what? That wasn't on purpose? Oh, come on. We got warnings, you know? We walk him. He hits us. Put your hands down. That umpire looks like a classic umpire out of a movie. If they were to cast an umpire in a movie. Ooh, Alfonso Soriano up. Strike one. Strike two. Get some. Strike three. Peter. Ben the man. Look at these two pitches. 2007, Pitch Ninja wasn't around, so I'll do it for you, Moylan. Look at that. Same slot, two different movement types. One breaks towards you, one goes away from you. Bing, bang, boom, you're out. Strike one, strike two. Outside edge, umpire gives it to him. Peter's going to walk off the mound and say, I love this ump. Foul ball, in play, out. Three inning outing from young Peter Moylan, but most importantly, his first career walk. And even more important than that, is he works for John Boy Media now, and he's got a podcast called Farm to Fame, and it's awesome, and him and Kelsey do a great job, and you should check it out.